Captain Sparkles, also known as Jordan Marin, is a Minecraft YouTuber who has been uploading Minecraft videos for almost a decade. He was making Minecraft content before the majority of his fans even began playing the game. Boasting over 10 million subscribers on his main channel, he still consistently uploads daily today and still manages to bring in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of viewers. Most YouTubers who rose to popularity in 2011 to 2013, like Captain Sparkles, dropped off or became significantly less popular but not Captain Sparkles, who still remains relevant. But how did he do this, and what were his major successes? Well, let's talk a bit about his channel history. Jordan's first channel wasn't actually the Captain Sparkles channel which we know today. It was a much smaller channel dedicated to posting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 content called Pros Don't Talk Shit. And after uploading on that channel for a few months, he managed to accumulate almost 22,000 subscribers. But he later decided to start a new main channel, Captain Sparkles, and abandon his old channel as he believed his name would hold him back and prevent him from getting opportunities in the future. With his new channel created, he continued posting Call of Duty content, but as Minecraft got more popular, he also began to upload more Minecraft content, occasionally with another Minecraft YouTuber, CNatters. He eventually completely switched to Minecraft and had his first major breakthrough with his Minecraft parody of TNT by Tayo Cruz, which was uploaded on February 26, 2011. This parody skyrocketed his channel growth and earned him tens of thousands of subscribers. Currently, the song has 110 million views. Realizing how successful his Minecraft parody was, he began working on a second parody, Revenge, a parody of Usher's wildly popular song, DJ Got Us Falling In Love Again. The song was uploaded on August 19, 2011 and completely blew up. Currently, the parody is the most viewed Minecraft video ever, with over 230 million views. Jordan has made more parodies, but we will talk about those a bit later in the video. With his newfound popularity, Jordan began doing more Minecraft series, specifically adventure maps such as The Labyrinth of Doom, as well as modded gameplays. He'd also do a few redstone and piston tutorials, TNT cannon tutorials, and even some early parkour maps, which were before sprinting even became a thing. As well as general modded gameplay, he would often do mod showcases and reviews, adventure maps, and game update videos until he started his most early popular series, Minecraft Skyblock Survival. The whole series consisted of 17 episodes, which all currently have 1 million views or more, with the first episode currently sitting at 7.5 million views. It was also around this time that his channel approached half a million subscribers, and where he would attend Minecon. As well as Minecraft, Jordan uploaded videos of other popular games such as Happy Wheels and Left 4 Dead, which saw decent success. In early 2012, Jordan began his first vanilla survival series in a pre-release of Minecraft version 1.2, where jungle biomes were first added. Many people have credited this series with introducing them to Minecraft and what got them into gaming as a whole. This series has a grand total of 39 episodes spanning over 8 months, and each episode currently has at least 1.5 million views, with the first episode having upwards of 7 million views. During this series, he would encounter a small slime in a cave which would follow him around. He trapped the slime in a safe space and nicknamed it Jerry. However, due to the absence of name tags in this version of the game, once he left the chunks which Jerry the Slime was in, he despawned. His audience had created a meme out of Jerry, and even though his death wasn't a big deal to Jordan, he decided to nickname his jungle tree base Jerry's Tree after him. The series ended with Jordan heading to a stronghold and killing the Ender Dragon for the first time. In April 2012, one of Minecraft's most known game modes was first uploaded to YouTube. Jordan was one of the few YouTubers who had this privilege to participate in the first ever Minecraft survival games. He came second, losing to Ant Venom in an epic final battle, and then placed well in the next three survival games, winning the fifth iteration. The original survival games video currently has over 11 million views, and is to this day one of the first and most popular survival games videos on YouTube. The survival games sparked a whole new YouTube era, and hundreds of servers popped up running survival games in their own unique ways. At this time, almost every Minecraft YouTuber was making survival games videos, and Jordan himself began to upload many videos on these games, which saw great success. According to his survival games playlist, he has made a whopping grand total of 283 survival games videos. He would often play or team up with other YouTubers at the time, producing highly entertaining and enjoyable content. Jordan continued to make more parodies such as Minecraft Style, a parody of the crazy popular Gangnam Style. However, he began to run into some issues with copyright, and Minecraft Style was taken down after not too long by a large music publishing company. While Minecraft Style is available on his channel today, it is not the original upload which had upwards of 75 million views, but a re-upload from a year later. Another parody which he released around the same time was Fallen Kingdom, a parody of Coldplay's Viva La Vida, which depicts a king whose kingdom is overrun by mobs in Herobrine, 
but when he tries to escape through a bridge with his wife and son, he is separated from them by a creeper explosion and they are presumed dead. He then proceeds to run up to the top of the tower and jump off, and the video ends there. The parody was a major success and the animation quality at the time was phenomenal. Jordan decided that due to the positive community response and the massive popularity of the video, he would make a sequel, but this time it was to be an original Minecraft song so he wouldn't have any more issues with copyright. The sequel was called Take Back the Night and featured a group of villagers who go to the ruins of the castle to find the prince alive. They take him back to the village and with the help of a village senior, they raise him and train him how to fight. Years pass and as they are returning from training one day, they see the village on fire and being attacked by a bunch of nether mobs. As they proceed to help, the elder villager is slain and the prince finds a map or instructions on him. He follows the map which leads him to Herobrine's lair and after an intense fight he kills Herobrine to avenge the elder villager. But that wasn't it. He released another original song, Find the Pieces. I'm not going to go into as much detail with this song as it wasn't as popular as the previous two, but basically the prince has a vision in his sleep and rushes to a nearby town where he slays a wither. The nether bobs steal the nether star and the video ends with the nether star being put into a massive mechanical suit. The prince also flees to the old castle ruins where he used to live and finds his father. Once again, the video was a roaring success. He decided to make part 4 of the series called Dragonhearted. To quickly summarize this one, the king is showing the prince around the fallen kingdom and then they go to the end and somehow tame it and the dragon, come back to the overworld and fight the nether mobs. The prince manages to slay the pigman king or leader, but the father and the ender dragon struggle to fight the pigman which is in the mechanical suit. Just as they are about to take down the pigman in the mechanical suit, he uses a last ditch attempt and sends a rocket at the king, which the prince redirects into the nether to the central hub of all the pigmen, killing them and ruining their invasion in the process. Unfortunately, the prince died, and at the end of the video, we see the king mourning his son. This series of Minecraft parodies and songs accumulated altogether well over 200 million views and is some of the most recognized and well known Minecraft content on YouTube. Jordan would continue to make more parodies after the Fallen Kingdom series, but in 2015 he had more issues with copyright, specifically with two of his most popular and oldest parodies, TNT and Revenge. In early 2015, Revenge was made private for copyright reasons, and then in December of the same year, it was made public again, but this time with new audio, which fans obviously disliked. Fortunately, in early 2018, the song was returned back to normal. Around the same time, TNT was also made private, but unlike Revenge, it spent two years as a private video before being made public again with different audio. In October 2018, the original audio was also restored. One of Jordan's other most popular series is called Mayanite. Mayanite is basically a cooperative and competitive vanilla Minecraft server with a bit of a twist. Jordan would play on the server with a few other YouTubers, notably Syndicate and Jericho, where they would follow a story written by members of the server. They would each follow a god that would instruct or tell them what to do, as well as interacting with one another through adventures and quests created by other players. The most interesting thing about this series, however, was that majority of it was live streamed and each player's communities would be able to interact with one another. Highlights of each live stream were cut down to make lengthy 20 to 30 minute episodes for YouTube. The series is really entertaining to watch, and the first season of My Night lasted 88 episodes uploaded over the span of 6 months. The first series were wildly popular, and each episode would get at least 1 million views. The second series of My Night began in early 2015, not too long after the end of the previous season, also lasting about 5 to 6 months. To this day, one of the most requested series on Captain Sparkle's channel is the third season of My Night. Throughout the years, Jordan branched into multiple channels. He currently owns 8 channels, of which 6 are still active. Such channels are Captain Sparkles 2, where he uploads long VODs and videos from previous live streams, Jordan Marin, his vlog channel, Jordan Reacts, a channel in which he reacts to videos and Reddit, specifically his subreddit, R Captain Sparkles, and then also a music channel, Marin Music, where he uploads small produced music as well as his own. So Captain Sparkles, a legendary channel known by many Minecraft players, is one of the few large channels from 2010 and 2011 which is still around and active today. He has many videos and parodies which are nostalgic to millions and are still known about and discussed regularly. I hope you enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know in the comments which Minecraft parody is your favourite, be sure to subscribe, thank you so much for watching.